Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my 7A life science classes coming back to you. Working in the next section for chapter 3. We are now into the parts of chromosomes and what they are made of and how genes and alleles work with those. The question of the day, what are the sides of the DNA made of? The sides of DNA are made up of deoxyribose sugar and phosphate groups holding it together. If I would have said the rungs of the ladder, you would say the nitrogen bases. Um, this goes along with the section from page 70 and 71. Chromosomes are called the threads of life. They are made of coiled and condensed DNA. Most of the time, DNA is like a big long ball of string that's all in a nest. Like when your fishing line gets all crazy, and you have to like fix it. That's how your chromosomes spend most of the time. But chromosomes get organized when it's time to pass genetic information from parent to offspring. During cell division, you have to make a copy of every single chromosome. And that copy will allow the daughter cells to have the genes that they need to be alive. How many chromosomes do humans have? Do you remember? Humans have 46. In your gametes, though, we have 23. So a gamete from the father would be a sperm, and a gamete from the mother would be the egg. So you get half from mom and half from dad. This is a picture of their actual DNA double helix. In this picture here, these are called histone proteins. So this is just plain old DNA. Here it's winding around histones. Those histones kind of allow it to shorten and condense. Here it keeps shortening. And eventually, we end up over here where this is now the actual structure that we call a chromosome. Each of these pieces here are chromatids. A chromatid is on each side. And eventually, it'll be split in half. This little piece right here is a centromere that holds the two sister chromatids together. A gene is usually a piece of that chromosome. On here, you can see these individual little different colored bands. Each band is usually a different gene. Because there's two different ones, the different genes are called alleles not allies but alleles alleles will cause to be like blonde hair or brown hair you have to have two alleles for most traits the reason you get two is one from mom and one from dad All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you watch the little video clips in the actual piece. Um, remember that a gene is a piece of DNA on a chromosome that codes for a protein or a trait. Remember that there are different types of genes for the same type of gene. Those different forms of the same gene are what we call alleles. And that DNA must coil and condense right before the cell divides to see the chromosomes. We call that a chromosome. 
Um, ladies and gentlemen, this section is pretty easy to get your work done. I'll see you next time. I'm Mr. Hescox. Be good and be safe.